Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. This long and awaited video has now come. It is my makeup video that you guys have been asking me for months and months. And I'm sorry it's taken me so long. I just be lazy sometimes. I mean, what can I say? But so let's go ahead and get ready with me. We have my bare face. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my thing. So far, I've already prepped my skin. I put my moisturizer on, which my moisturizer is Oil of Olay. And then I use my Estee Lauder um, Shine Control Primer. All the items that I am showing you here, I will have in a link below, which will direct you to my Amazon store. Um, that's where I get a lot of my makeup products. Um, so yeah. All right, so since I've already prepped my skin, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm going to apply my um, Wet n Wild Incognito and I just put it on my areas that I feel are um, okay so first I have I have Cafe Ole so I have a spot here and here that I can never get rid of and I have one on my neck um, which I'm sure you guys always see in my photos um, even with uh, chemical pills I can't get rid of them that's just what it is I, it's it's a body thing I have freckles on my hands these are just body marks that or forever that I can't get rid of so I put my concealer in those areas as well as under my eyes and then anywhere else that I may have like any um, acne spots um, for the most part I feel my skin has done me pretty well so that's what I do I also put it in the corners of my nose just because um, sometimes my makeup Little cake in that area, but when I put concealer there, um, it doesn't. It works out pretty good for me. So yeah. So that's what I do. Next, I'm gonna get into my eyebrows. So what I do is I use my Laura Mercier um, powder, and I just use it to set my brows. Um, so that way, when I fill them in, um, if I don't put the powder, then it's slippery for my pencil. If that makes sense. Oh shoot, I forgot my towel too. Oh well, okay. Usually I put on a makeup shirt um, just to help with me not getting um, <laughs> makeup on my clothes, but it's Steelers day, cool Steelers. So I am wearing my Steelers jersey. If you guys hear my husband screaming, <laughs> it's because it's game day. Okay, so that's what I that's what I do for my brows. Now, just disclaimer: you don't wear makeup. It's not for you. It's not the video. I don't want to hear like, oh, I don't need all that. I don't do all that. Okay, next video. <laughs> I'm just showing you all. This is how I do mine. Um, after being asked numerous times on what I do when doing my makeup. I would not be able to find something when I'm trying to do my video. Okay, there we go. I'm about to wig out. I just have a table here with all of my makeup items that I'm just going through. I usually just have everything set and ready, but for some reason I'm trying not to find some of my stuff. So bear with me. I'm also going to be looking down at a mirror here. So if you guys are noticing I'm looking at something, it's because I need to use that. And also, I don't talk a lot of the time during my video because talking to me also um, causes me to mess up.
So I just follow the natural shape of my brow. This doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to clean it up later. So that's how I do it and then I just fill it in. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to clean it all up. So I'm just going to take my spooey just like that and that's why I say it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to blend it all in. <clears throat> Now the brushes that I'm using as well, um, they're regular schmegular paint brushes. Um, I will also have that in the link and it will be under the makeup section. Um, I like these brushes better than getting name brand brushes just because they work better for me. Now there are times I don't get my brows perfect, sometimes they're cousins instead of sisters, but you know what, that's okay. One side of my face is higher than the other one anyways, which I was like 35 years old when I had realized that. I will look back at my pictures and be like, why, why does it look like that? Well, yeah inside of my face. So I always had to remember when I took pictures and smiled that I had to put more emphasis on my left side of my face when smiling so that way it'd be even. Just crazy. Yeah, you will hear my toddler in the background. I'm so used to doing this in a full length mirror. Like this is my first time doing my makeup in like one of these little vanity mirrors.
Now, some of the videos you guys did ask me um, specifically on some of the makeup looks, but um, some of the makeup looks I do differently every day. It just depends um, on that day, how I feel like doing my makeup. Um, but for the most part, you guys are just going to see how I initially do it. Whether I do an eyeshadow look or, you know, whether I add a colored under eye. Um, I just switch it up, but for the most part, you're going to see exactly how I do things. Um, so I'm just trying to get the concealer to dry a little bit more before I apply my foundation. Um, <clears throat> foundation that I use it never changes this is the same foundation I use all day every day 365 no matter the season or the reason um, so it is my Estee Lauder double wear again all of this will be linked um, so just click that link and take you right to my Amazon store so next what I do is I apply actually let me blend this in a little more There we go. All right. So I just put this on and then I let it dry um, before I blend it in because I don't like blending it in when it's wet. Um, it just doesn't work for me. Some people do. Again, this is just how I do my thing. Just get all of that off. <laughs> Come on, Fro. You're working against me. Get that and just do it just like that. I actually added a little more than what I normally do, so this is actually a bit much more than what I usually do. I just dipped it a little too hard. Damn it, that's a waste because <laughs> this foundation is pricey. We're here getting a little too heavy handed and excited. And I just turn on my fan and let that dry. If you all need to fast forward this video, please do so. Um, it is going to be a longer video than my normal videos, but if you're willing to sit through it with me, then, you know, thank you. <laughs> so since it's football day, let me know who y'all's teams are, who you rooting for. Obviously, I'm a Steelers fan. I grew up Steelers. My dad was a Steelers fan, and he would, before he passed, he would walk through the house with his terrible towel. Black and gold, let's go. <laughs> Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. <laughs> and he got the loudest clap. So it's just so funny when I found my husband many moons ago, he was a Steelers fan, and I was like, oh, Lord, you already knew. So this is a Steelers household. The legend continues. The family tradition of Steelers continues. Oh, no, my hair didn't. You know what? My hair be getting in the way of so much stuff. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Okay. Um, so the next thing I have is my blender. Um, I, again, we'll have these in the Amazon store. I just blend it in. I'll leave my fan on so that way it could dry.
Now I know a lot of people see on the internet that people do their makeup many ways. Just do what works for you. This is what works for me. This is how I've always done it for years. And let me just say, every time I'm out in public, people are stopping me. What makeup are you wearing? What is this? What is that? It just worked for me. I used to be a drugstore girl where I was like, okay, you know, I used to wear uh, L'Oreal. That was the only makeup that would match up to me. And then one day I just wanted to try. I was in a, you know, you go into like the beauty, beauty, the uh, major brand stores. I went into Dillard's and I just wanted to try a sample. I was like, you know what? Let me just try it. And this, I could never get matched up correctly, right? So what I did was I went back to the Dillard's over, if you're in Arizona, I went over to the Dillard's over in Metro Center. And this um, Middle Eastern girl, very gorgeous. She was wearing a hijab. She was just gorgeous. And she matched me up instantly. It, it was quick. Listen, nobody else has done it that quick. Even Mac. I went to Mac and <laughs> I would have to come back like, uh, yeah, no. This girl, she she was she was a pro. She was a pro. And she gave me what I needed and after that I never went back. Uh, this time make sure you guys are following all my handles don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button that way you guys can stay up on all of my videos um i'm gonna be dropping more hair videos soon and then um there's a wig that i got from um shein that a lot of people were shocked about that i got from shein um I, that was my first wig ever and it just so happened to be bomb.com um and i ended up buying another one so i'm gonna upload that one as well so that way you guys can see that wig that is in ultimate fan favorite right now. Okay. So there's that. Next, we're moving on to my contour. This is what I use. It is um, Black Opal True Color. Again, that is in the bio. Um, the color I have is Suede Mocha. And I just go up. In the areas. That I utilize. Sometimes I put on my forehead. Sometimes I don't. Uh, but because I create bangs for myself. When I have my fro. Um. Sometimes I don't, but at this time I am. So I just blend that in. I don't let it dry because um, it it dries pretty quickly. Um, if you allow it to set, it dries and then it leaves that trail that I don't really particularly care for. I put it on my jawline and chin here. It just gives me more of a chiseled look, especially on days where I'm extra fluffy. <laughs> I mean, it's contour. That's what you do. to my nose. Okay. That's how I do that. 
guys trust the process okay trust the process next what i use is where are you at okay let me tell you guys about this concealer this concealer i will never go back i used to use like a wet n wild an elf um a l'oreal a maybelline whatever for the conceal like the highlight and i had found this um this black makeup artist, her name is Danessa Mirix. Listen, I use her Cover Vision uh, Cream and I use that to contour and do my highlight. I'll never go back. Listen, this thing was like $50, but I've had it for over a month now and I don't use a lot because uh, a little bit goes a long way. Um, but let me show you guys but i love i love this stuff okay um i will spend the funds every single time just to get this it's it's a game changer in my makeup and um you know other people use you know another brand and it looks just as good listen if it looks good on you if you like it i love it but this is just what i use I do not allow this to um, set either because it dries pretty quickly. Um, if you do, then you know, that's what you do. I'm telling y'all what I do. Some of you may ask, well, why do I do the things that I do? Well, this is what allows me to give that slender nose, chiseled highlight. Um, I love how it comes out in pictures. Um, and you know, I just, this is how I've always done my makeup. Um, and I feel like over time when I try newer brands and different products, I find out other stuff that works for me that I really particularly like on my skin and that's that's just what I do. So yeah. This is just what works for me. I'm just going back over it with my black opal. Yep. Well, there we go. See that? So. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Then I just go over and I spray um, my mattifying setting spray. Um, you know what? It doesn't matter which brand you use. I have this one by Revolution, and then I also have my um, NYX. Um, so it doesn't really matter which brand. For me, they've all worked good. So I spray that on just to set it. And then I'm going to move on to my foundation. Sometimes you have to bop that, you know, get all that off at the bottom. I need one of those stands where I can just sit it up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. So next what I do is, of course I left them. Well, I'll just use this. Okay, so I just put the setting powder. What I do first is I go lightly over my entire face with the set with the Laura Mercier. Um, just like that. Over the areas that are not highlighted. Right? So just do that. Set the brows. Just lightly. Then I'm going to bake. Press that in. I press it in nice and good. Press, press. Just like that. Press it in nice and good. Keep it on the nose. Press. Next, what I do is I get my Estee Lauder powder, which is my um, double wear rich caramel 5W2 Estee Lauder. Use my Estee Lauder brush. And I just blend in the darker contour. Blend it in all over my face. Well, not all over, but you get it. Just like that. Keep trusting the process, guys. Um, I've done my friends makeup like this. I've done my sisters, um, my daughters, um, even my grandmother for her funeral. I've done her makeup and <laughs> the girl that actually um, does makeup there when she seen how I did my grandma. Up, she was like, um, can you tell me what products you use now for my grandma? I end up using um, L'Oreal for her on her her going away service or funeral. Um, but the girl was like, do you need a job? I was like, yeah, no, <laughs> I don't think I could ever do this again. <laughs> that was the first time I ever did um, anyone's makeup that went to go be with the Lord. But I'll tell you what, if I ever was sleeping on myself, I wasn't after that. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Grandma, <laughs> you going up to the Lord looking your best. <laughs> 
So next what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm just going to um, put some mascara on my lashes. So this is my Lancome uh, Hypnos Drama. And I just put mascara on before I apply the lashes. That's all. If you don't put on mascara before you apply your lashes, that's you. You know, again, this is just how I do my thing. Um, I also put... So, let me tell you guys. So, sometimes you guys ask me about my bottom, uh, what's on the bottom of my eye. So it could be whatever I'm feeling that day. So they're all NYX jumbo um, pencil. It could be my milk pencil. Um, it could be my, there's this turquoise one that you guys seem to really, 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 really love. Um, where are you? Um, it is in my um, Amazon store. Here it is. Um, you guys on my um, TikTok really seem to love uh, this jumbo mint um, color that I put on my eyes. But today I am going to apply my milk because I like the milk one. It makes my eyes really pop as well, just like the, um, the um, mint color. You can add the blonde, uh, blonde, the um, black if you guys usually use black or um, brown, whatever smoky look you do. Um, this is just what I do. <laughs> it's clean day and my kids are cleaning to music, so if y'all hear some music in the background, that's why. So there's that. That is on and ready to go. And then I just bring out my bottom lashes. Um, I use a smaller, a different mascara because this one is, has a smaller, I don't know if you can see that, it's way smaller, um, the spooey because of the bottom lashes. I like this one being smaller to help bring them out versus the bigger one. So just like that. And then I put on my bottom lashes a little eyeliner. Um, because I like the dramatic look for my lashes on the bottom. Everything about me is drama, okay? Except for my life. <laughs> I like drama TV. But I'm pretty boring for the most part. Except for my makeup. So that's what I do for my bottom lashes, okay? Next, what I'm going to do while those bottom lashes are drying is I'm going to do my liner. I'm going to bring this mirror a little closer. So that's how I do that one. Mm -hmm. Is 
this my new one? I'm looking for my new one. There we go. There she is. Just fill her in. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because if you need to go back with your concealer and line it up, you can do that. So don't be like, oh, I messed up or, you know, <clears throat> it didn't come out right. That's what correction is for. Let's go back in and fix it. Okay. Then I just bring it in and connect it. Sometimes I will make the wings bigger. Give it an Amy Winehouse. Sometimes I like it bigger. I really do. Um, just because the lashes I wear sometimes they're so dramatic that um, I want you to see the wing. I want you to see the wing, darling. Again, nothing about my makeup is casual, so if you don't do all this, good for you. But your girl does. I've been wearing makeup and doing makeup since I was 13. My mom used to let me, um, you know, we would start off small. Um, I come from a household where the women, you know, dolled up. That's just what it is. And um, over the years, I would practice. The more I wore it, the more I got comfortable with it. But you know what's so crazy is I was bullied and picked on a lot in high school for wearing makeup. And then those same people that bully me are like trying to do makeup. Or they'll uh, reach out to me and I'm just like, didn't you bully me from wearing makeup? Or they're like makeup artists now. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So that's how I do that. Then I just put on my fan, let it dry. Now, in some of my videos you guys have been seeing, I've been doing a slant in my brow as well. Um, it depends on my look that I'm going for that I'll add the slant, uh, which I just use the other end of my spoolie. And I just dip it in a little mas mascara, uh, concealer. And lightly stamp my brow. Some of you don't, you know, if you don't like it, you don't do it. This is how I do mine. Sometimes my brow hair won't let me be great. So I'll just have to go over it with my brow. There we go. 
Okay, next thing I do for my bottom brows is there's this 3D fiber, which that's also in my Amazon store because I want more on my lashes. I want more on the bottom. And um, so what I'll do is, come on. Don't play me like that. There we go. You know, sometimes that black will get down there. Um, I want more of a dramatic look, so I, I get a little help from my 3D fiber. And I will add some waterproof liner on the bottom lashes again. Dramatize them. So, as I was saying, before my battery died, Put the eyeliner on the bottom lash, thicken it up. Make it as dramatic as possible. And then I use my 3D fiber um, to apply over it. Bring them out more. So just like that. Next, what I'm gonna do is my lashes, which of course I left. Okay, these are the same lashes I've been having majority of the time on all my videos. Um, a couple times I switch them up here and there, um, but for the most part, in my latest videos and latest looks, you'll see that um, these are the same lashes that I use. Um, again, all of it will be linked. So that way if you guys choose, oh, if you guys choose to get them, you know where to go. And that's my Amazon store. I need to get a new pair. These ones are trying to act a little crazy. All right. Lash glue. There we go. Thank you to those who have stayed and watched thus far. <laughs> and thank you to those who have been supporting me and following me. Um, it means a lot. Um, I may not be able to get back to everybody um, like I want. I try to, but now with the social media growing, sometimes the comments and everything, it's it's too much. You know what I mean? Like it's, I still have to have that family time. You know what I mean? So I blend this in with my brush. Use my Estee Lauder brush as well to go over the nose. I'm just dropping stuff. And then what I do is my blush, my blush is the next thing. I'll either use my Juvia's um, blush or I'll just use any blush that I have available. All my lashes are drying up, drying off. So, oh, let me show you guys this other thing that I've been doing lately, um, which a lot of you guys seem to have liked as well, is I do a siren eye. So,
I love the siren eye that I have been doing lately. Um, again, just because it gives so much drama to my eyes. There's that. And again, if you need to go back in and clean it up, you can. But for the most part, that's how I do it. I know some of you are like, oh, you be doing both hands. I'm ambidext ambidextrous. <laughs> I'm originally a left-hander. But sometimes I use my right. Um, lastly, lips. Lips. Hands on my hips. And the body, body. Okay, so I use my NYX Urban Cafe. And then I go over it and um, with my uh, Intimidate lip liner by NYX. So it looks just like that. Alright. Let me try to put my lashes on before they dry. These tweezers as well, um, you guys need those. Everything, again, will be linked in my bio. In my bio. Or description box, I'm saying bio. I'm so used to saying bio on TikTok. That's why. And then I just press them down onto my natural lash to make sure they on there. Yeah. 
just like that. Now, let me finish my lips. I use my Milani, um, and this is the Satin Matte in Lavish. And it dries pretty quickly, um, so I just let it set. And I just go back over everything that I need to touch back up on. Um, make sure everything is how I like it to my standard. highlighter on the nose part. And you can use any highlighter that you want. I like my liner like this. Some people don't. It's all about my preference, really. Just like it's about your preference. To do whatever floats your boat. So, that's how I do it. And then lastly, what I'm gonna do is go back over with my setting spray, whatever brand that you use. Sometimes I add a little um, lip gloss if I want my lips glossy. Um, majority of the time I want it matte to stick. And this does stick without getting on my husband. He likes my lipstick not to get on him because he's always kissing me all the time. But like if I'm out with the girls, with my friends, then I will put on a little gloss. Um, but majority of the time it's a matte um, because it's transfer proof onto my husband. Even the NYX Urban Decay, it lasts longer. Sometimes people use eyeliners, not eyeliners, um, eyeshadows for their liner. And I'm, I want to try that. I've actually been seeing um, Erica LaPearl. She's the one that does Cardi B's makeup. And she said that she uses a um, eyeshadow. And it lasts longer than eyeliner. So I'm like, I'm, I want to try that. Lasts longer than lip liner. If I can talk, jeez. So yeah, I just go through, touch up everything, make sure it's all blended. And so yeah, let me zoom in for y'all. Get into that. Bam. And that's how I do my makeup. So yes, that's how I do my makeup. That's how the looks I've been doing lately. That's how... I've been doing my thing lately. Um, again, just do you. Do you. There's no, there's no limitations on makeup. There's no, you can't do this. This is too much. It's makeup. It's an art. Um, your face is that canvas. You enhance what's already there. I'm tired of people being like, catfish, catfish. You enhance what's already there, okay? Um, the haters say catfish. And people that are slightly playing, like low-key, like I'm a catfish. Um, but for the most part, makeup is an art. You enhance what's already there. This is how I do mine. 
Other people do theirs differently. Some people don't wear as much. Some people wear more. Some people wear just as much. It doesn't matter. Do you. Be happy with you. Leave others alone. Let others be. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all, right? But this is how I do mine. It lasts me all day. Listen, I have very oily skin. This, with everything that I do, I can tell you right now, I don't touch up to maybe probably about like six hours, eight hours later. Um, otherwise, and, and this, this has helped me so much, um, doing it the way that I do it, um, because my oily skin, y'all, is ridiculous. So, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this a longer than usual segment of how I do my makeup. This is how I do it. This is what I do when I do when I do what I does. And so yeah, so again, make sure you guys are hitting that like and subscribe button and that way you guys can stay tuned for my, the videos that are going to be coming up, more wig videos. And um, I'm probably going to start doing some natural hair videos come next year. I think next year that'll give me more lead way, um, especially during the summertime for the kids so that way you guys can see how I do my natural hair. I'm also going to be going back to my colorist. Her name is Lisa Carrillo. And she is a bomb hair colorist out in Vegas. Um, she maintains my blonde. Um, and so that way you guys can follow me throughout that journey and then see how I do my natural hair at home. Um, but I got so much in store, like so many plans that I have in my head and um, I'm going to put it out there. So the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, but thanks so much for joining me, you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it. Let me know in the comments what you liked about it, um, if it helped you, and uh, so yeah, I'll see you later. Bye, YouTube family.